Hello everyone, my name is Sumitra Marin and I'm working as a product manager in Microsoft in the M365 core platform team. I'm really very excited to be doing this webinar uh, on the topic a different route to product management. The agenda that I'm looking to cover is what are the different paths to product management? What is the value addition of a product school certification and how it has personally helped me in my product management career? Uh, some classical questions that I'm going to answer on PMing, which was um, asked by aspiring PM aspirants uh, whom I meet in my day-to-day -day life. And I hope it will be useful uh, for everyone tuning in. With no further ado, I'm going to move on to what are the different paths to product management. Before that, I would like to give a very descriptive uh, a summary of my uh, uh, career transitioning into product management. The reason that I want to give an elaborative uh, uh, details of my product management journey is because uh, I feel a lot of PM aspirants are in the career stages uh, uh, that I was uh, in my career and eventually got into product management. And I think it will be beneficial uh, for those folks to uh, gain some learnings out of it. So I started my career as a software engineer at Visa in 2015. Immediately after college, I joined Visa as a site reliability engineer. Uh, the roles and responsibilities that I had as a site reliability engineer is to uh, identify production issues uh, um, and um, raise those as bugs to my engineering team, work with customers on uh, live production issues and troubleshoot them to help solve it and also perform a root cause analysis of uh, uh, why the issues uh, had occurred. Uh, in addition to doing this um, uh, role in the gateway uh, 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 activity, I also tried my uh, hands on webbing by learning uh, uh, UI skills and I built a, a UI dashboard which was uh, primarily used by my senior leadership team. Uh, the end users of this dashboard were senior leadership team, product analysts and my customers. Um, uh, service engineers who are using this uh, dashboard to look at the tickets that were raised by customers and what is the resolution uh, date and how long it's taken for them to uh, uh, resolve a ticket and so on and so forth. So, um, uh, I would say the skill that I uh, gained from doing this role uh, for close to three years is that uh, I got better at um, analytical skills and looking at um, issues and I also got experience to work with uh, um, uh, the customer support engineers to understand the uh, live problems that is being raised by the consumers. So uh, then um, I moved uh, to a different team in Visa which is a data products team. Uh, as many of the folks I was also uh, uh, very curious about the buzzwords uh, that were in the market which was uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning and I wanted to uh, um, uh, do some development uh, work in uh, the data products team and I eventually switched to a different team in Visa. Uh, in the data products team, um, I was responsible for uh, developing a solution which is uh, um, a search engine that I uh, developed for my uh, internal consumers uh, to look at the Visa's transactional data. Uh, Visa's transactional data as such um, was a very large volume of data and the search engine that I built uh, uh, was solving the problem of uh, searching through this data very seamlessly. Uh, uh, the one thing that I liked uh, uh, doing in both these roles and uh, is that it gave me a lot of clarity uh, about why I'm building a certain product, uh, uh, what are the customer pain points uh, and what is that I can do to um, uh, enhance the experience of the customers. Uh, I really uh, uh, enjoyed uh, doing these aspects when I was developing a product. Uh, uh, hence, after uh, four years in my career, uh, it was time for me to think about what is something that I really like to do in the day-to-day -day life. Uh, uh, one role um, that I could think of and that came to my mind is uh, a product manager uh, role. Um, um, and the immediate question that I popped up in my mind was, so should I be pursuing an MBA? Uh, but due to the personal choices that I had to make, uh, it was a no-brainer for me that I, will, I wouldn't be able to uh, pursue an MBA for uh, getting a career into product management. Uh, then I started researching about uh, what are the different ways that I can uh, look at for uh, uh, getting into PM online. And I spoke to a number of folks on LinkedIn so they gave me different advices uh, on how I can uh, move into a product management career. Uh, 
then i spoke to different folks uh, and understood uh, that one valuable advice that i could um, uh, get is that to try out opportunities in my current work environment to transition from an engineering role to a product management role which would be relatively uh, uh, an easier path to take than um, Uh, trying it um, outside of your work environment so i took that seriously and i reached out to different teams in visa um, uh, the product management teams where i could uh, shadow some of the senior pms on their day to day pm activities and i gained a lot of experience in that and now uh, some uh, senior pms were very uh, helpful enough for me to uh, offer their work and also uh, let me try and try my hands at it and that's when i got an opportunity to move to a real time payments team uh, where i did the product 101 activities like uh, developing uh, product features specs requirements document working with customers and i got the holistic uh, 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 pm experience in that team Uh, so it was uh, almost six years for me in visa, and I was uh, um, uh, looking at how how can I uh, uh, enrich my product management experience um, um, and see what are the different aspects of product and uh, uh, become a, a subject matter expert in a particular area. So that's when um, I got to know about the product school certification, and I did the product school certification, which I think has uh, uh, really helped me uh, uh, to connect with the different uh, product folks. Uh, in fact, like-minded product folks who give me a lot of inputs on how I can enrich my PM experience. I uh, got to solve a real product case study, and I uh, worked on end to end from uh, a launch to delivering a product, which was like a simulation. and the different product thinking skills that i learned from it uh, um, um uh, just to summarize uh, you know my entire product management journey i started as a software engineer uh, uh, tried my hands at development uh, for four years uh, uh, into learning ui designing ui development skills uh, analytical skills and uh, working with a lot of analysis and numbers uh, um, um i looked at uh, what is that i want to do in my career and uh, why product management uh, um, in the wide of product management uh, um in the sense of ownership and uh, owning the product uh, um uh, got my energy level uh, pumped up and i looked at the uh, different ways to move to product management uh, uh, after deciding that i would not be able to pursue an mba and uh, uh, work to the product school to uh, uh, do a certification to learn the actual product management skills practically and then i moved to a career in uh, product manager so uh, i would say the key takeaways from the product management uh, um, a journey is that the first answer the why of uh, why you want to get into product management uh, product management is a role uh, uh, that gives you a sense of uh, ownership that you will be developing a solution end to end working with the uh, different parties that they are involved in the product and um, 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 uh, it's a very important role for the success of any product Uh, uh, that is one, and the other thing is, uh, if you're looking to uh, move into product management, explore the opportunities that you have in hand, which is in your uh, current work environment. The uh, research on internet, uh, trust me, there are a lot of resources that's available on internet uh, that's going to help you make this switch. Uh, and the third important thing is that try out product roles before. Um, taking in a full time product management role uh, uh, shadow senior pms uh, try to understand what their day to day activities are uh, um, uh, learn about the different uh, product functions and see if it really interests you uh, before making the switch uh, and the fourth is uh, which i think is an important factor uh, uh, in any job search you are going to do is build an effective resume it's very important to uh, highlight your skills and experience in your resume and uh, uh, show that what you're really capable of and i think these four should be the four uh, uh, takeaways of different paths to product management moving on uh, what are the value of, of a product school certification uh there are a lot of skills and uh, abilities that a product manager require and uh, it's possible to learn the skills to learn the skills and the abilities uh, while you are doing a product management role but um um the kind of experience the product school certification is going to give you is uh, almost equal uh, to a practical experience that you uh, get as a product manager 
um i think in my experience uh, what is really very really important to uh, a break into product management uh, is that getting to know the like minded product folks networking uh, um and understanding if uh, there is any opportunity that can open up uh, uh, for you for making this transition and definitely product school uh, uh, help me in that and the second most important thing is um how to improve your confidence that you will be able to land a product manager uh, a job uh, because most of the pm aspirants uh, in their current roles uh, will be qa engineers will be software engineers will be into marketing and different kind of roles they'll be doing uh, i think a product school certification will uh, eventually give you the confidence that you will be able to land a product manager uh, a job uh, through its pm case study experience so Uh, like i said the pm case study experience really valuable because you will be working end to end from a product uh, and uh, even though uh, you will not be able to deep dive into every elements of it i think it gives you the different flavors of product thinking and uh, it will help you um, uh, think uh, uh, product sense uh, when you are actually doing the assignment um, and one of the another uh, important skills for a product manager is to have soft skills um, um when you think about a product uh, when you try to solve a problem i think it's very important to uh, have clarity in your mind while explaining uh, the problem statement or what is the solution that you are proposing and talking to different engineers different design teams so a uh, soft skill is an area that you will um, be able to uh, uh, get some tips on how you can improve through this product school certification and uh, the two main important things that i've highlighted in my product management uh, a journey is that uh, how can i explore product manage uh, a job opportunities when i'm trying to transition so product school is a place that will give you uh, ways on uh, how you can do this exploration and how you will be able to uh, uh, find a job opportunity and then it's up to you to do the to work to get there and building effective resume is a, a common uh, a thing in any product search and uh, uh, the product school certification um, uh, will give you certain tips and tricks of how to make your uh, resume stand out and it is definitely very valuable now and uh, for uh, newbies into product management uh, it's most common that the different functions of product management is not something that uh, uh, you can uh, uh, google on the internet and learn about because different organizations have different uh, streams in product management and the product school certification helps you learn those different functions uh, and understand what are the different fields in product management and what is that that will be uh, suitable for you in your long term career journey as well uh for me from the product school certification i think these uh, uh eight takeaways are something that helped in my product management journey and uh, uh some of which uh, are really been um, useful for me even today when i'm talking to customers or uh, uh, uh when i'm building my resume or when i'm networking uh, with the different product folks uh, whom i found in my uh, uh, uh ps school community okay Uh, moving on the next one is uh, the million dollar questions on pming uh, there were a couple of uh, classic questions that i was uh, asked by a lot of aspiring uh, uh, a pm folks uh, who are in the same career stage or as mine or uh, uh, some of the apms that i got to meet in different conferences so i'm going to try and answer those uh, uh, in a crisp manner and i hope that it will benefit uh, the wide audience how can i get into product management the uh, experience while i'm a software engineer tester uh, and i'm pursuing different roles so uh, i think the first thing that you should be doing is asking yourself uh, why you want to get into product management uh, and uh, the second thing is um, exploring product opportunities in your current environment and uh, uh, trying to get that experience by putting in extra effort uh, uh, by working with the senior pms in your org third thing is uh, getting a product school certification will definitely help uh, to give you a flavor of what product management uh, exactly is and is definitely valuable and the fourth thing is reaching out to product folks um, 
understanding about uh, uh, what is PMing in different orgs, what is their PM journey, what is that they do in your day-to-day -day life, so that it give you a flavor of uh, different streams in product management, and also uh, internet and YouTube. There are like tons of resources available that will help you uh, get the product management experience in some way, but it definitely needs a lot of effort to find the right content. Um, uh, that's one classic thing that I've always been asked as to how do you get the product management experience. And I think, uh, uh, you know, these uh, four things that I have uh, quoted uh, um, uh, would definitely help to get you that. Uh, the next one is how to prepare for product interviews. Uh, product management interviews in itself have a framework where uh, the PMs will be uh, uh, tested at based on the experience uh, that one has. So, so I think in order to start preparing for product interviews, uh, what has personally helped me uh, the most is mock interviews. Uh, I signed up for different free sites on the internet and I um, uh, gave a lot of mock interviews uh, while I was also uh, um, uh, trying to uh, land a job in product management. So mock interviews uh, helps you uh, understand the um, different PM's product thinking capability, uh, how the structure of interviews happens in different organization and helps you uh, get formed up and prepared before your actual interview. So I think one key thing for product interviews is doing as many mock interviews as you can. Um, and the second important thing is understanding the PM interview framework itself. Uh, uh, for example, uh, in an engineering role, uh, there are always very predefined set of roles uh, uh, and rounds that's defined so that you will be able to um, know what you will be tested uh, at. For example, data structures is one common uh, uh, problem solving round that happens in engineering uh, uh, interviews. Uh, similarly, for uh, product management as well, there is an interview framework where uh, uh, based on what you will be tested at, like the estimation questions or the strategical thinking uh, uh, or the problem solving abilities. So I think it's important to uh, understand the PM interview frameworks and uh, make yourself warmed up and prepared uh, to answer questions um, in the actual interview. Uh, the third thing is networking. Network via LinkedIn, network via product communities to understand what their uh, uh, interview experience is while they've been interviewed for their PM job. I think it's definitely very helpful um, uh, because each one uh, has a different product uh, management journey and the interview process for um, every organization is different and uh, the key things that you learn by networking with different product managers will definitely help. And talking about uh, what are the different PM functions. Uh, so um, uh, now the product management uh, uh, role or the domain in itself has different um, uh, product manager designations of the roles and responsibilities, some of which are technical product manager, which is more a technical uh, um, uh, uh, role of a product manager in getting into deep level analysis of the designs that the engineering teams are working on or working very closely with the architects. Uh, and understanding how the problem is getting developed. Then you have the APMs and the uh, PMs who are more functional product managers uh, uh, who are responsible for developing feature specifications, writing a PRD product requirements document and uh, working with customers to understand the actual pain points. And third is the content product manager uh, who's responsible uh, uh, for um, uh, the specifications of the uh, product and the content that gets uh, uh, marketed uh, to the outside world when it's especially an uh, external facing uh, uh, manager. And uh, the other one is a marketing product manager, which is uh, uh, an exclusively uh, a marketing facing role where you get to do a lot of sales along with product management and you talk to your customers on a daily uh, basis, understanding your pain points and how you're able to uh, take your product to the next level by working with the direct customers. So these are some of the different PM functions that one could look at uh, in a long term career aspiration as, uh, okay, this is the area that I want to be good at. I want to be a functional product manager and I want to be a subject matter expertise in this. So understanding the different PM functions uh, is also a very valuable thing um, uh, to know when you're looking for a career in product management. And uh, uh, the last and final question uh, that, I, that I get asked is, is MBA mandatory for switching into product management? Um, I would say yes and no. Yes, if you're looking to shift your uh, 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 career in a definite period of time. 
know if you're willing to invest time and effort and uh, get an opportunity uh, in product management with the level of uh, uncertainty because when you're pursuing an MBA, uh, you have a sure shot answer of you are going to uh, uh, land a job in a more um, a non-technical uh, domain where it can be consulting, it can be marketing or it can be product management. But in case of not uh, choosing to do an MBA, I think it takes um, um, uh, a lot of effort and time and pursuing what it is for you to break into product management and eventually make the transition. So the answers for this question would be yes or no, depending on uh, uh, the career stage and the path that you are in. I really hope uh, um, uh, the questions on PMing, whatever I tried to answer in a very crisp way, uh, is being really uh, uh, helpful for the ones who have tuned in. And I also have uh, uh, certain useful resources that has uh, certainly helped me to uh, transition into a career uh, in product management. And I would uh, strongly recommend to uh, go through these books, this valuable LinkedIn product profiles, this uh, mock interview sites for mock interviews, and amazing YouTubers that you can follow for uh, 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 preparing for your uh, PM interviews. This has definitely benefited me uh, in a really valuable way. And I uh, hope it will benefit you as well. And that's all. I think uh, 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 this is the agenda that I had in mind and I wanted to um, uh, share this uh, uh, through this uh, webinar and I'm always available on uh, LinkedIn. You can see my LinkedIn profile and please reach out to me if you need any help. Uh, I will try my best to uh, help you in the ways that I can. Thank you so much.